Hey YouTube Franks, brief explanation on how I conduct account reviews on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash slice. On my Twitch channel, there's a channel point redemption reward available on random days. For 20,000 channel points, I'll review your Genshin account. This takes around one to two weeks of watching and lurking the stream. On these random days, I will only do up to five and the redemption is on a first come first serve basis, open at the very start of the stream. When I say at the very start, I mean the literal first 10 seconds of when I press go live. I don't review a large amount of accounts as I prefer quality over quantity. Because of this, I highly recommend watching existing ones already on the YouTube channel. My tendencies are very similar and the patterns of what I look for are mostly the same. A lot of my viewers learn from existing reviews and end up not needing to redeem anything. How they work. With your consent, I will log on to your account, PC, mobile, or PlayStation, as long as you have a linked MiHoYo account, and I will interactively review your account on stream. I analyze your characters, weapons, artifacts to see what I can recommend for building around your favorite characters for Spiral Abyss or general compositions if Abyss is not your priority. Depending on the situation, I may rework your account, but in most cases, this isn't necessary. Lastly, I will never reach out to you first regarding these account reviews. Please be cautious. And that's it. Hope YouTube frogs enjoy it. People hate YouTube frogs. This account is a little unique. AR56. I wanted to showcase their account and return to my roots. This is during patch 2.0. This review is going to go over Haku Potato's account and based off of their pins that we've seen. They are Yoi Mia Best Girl Meta Ain't Gonna Stop Me. Also, Venti Main DPS. And when they mean Venti Main DPS, they seriously mean Venti Main DPS. I have never seen someone crown Venti's normal attack. Because no one uses it. Two beard isn't too glad. Actually, Venti DPS. Uh, C0. Skyward Heart build. But yeah, we're going to dive right into it. Let's see your progress. You are... Mm. Your chamber three... For 11-3, okay. So can I confirm with you, Paco, that you're doing Yoimiya one side and a Venti focus build on the other side? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so first half is fairly straightforward for floor 11, right? Uh, floor 11 team composition, definitely going to be a Yoimiya Bennett combination. I'm going to have Kazuha with Yoimiya side, uh, just to benefit a little bit. Do you want Mono Pyro or do you want Shielding? You don't have Zhongli, but you do have Diona. I'm just curious. I also use cleat. Okay, do you want to do double sub DPS? You could do this with Kazuha and Bennett. Do you want a shield for Yoimiya or not? If you want a shield for Yoimiya, I'm going to need to use uh, Diona. Sure, yes, shield. Okay, in this particular case then, how do you normally use your Venti comp? Who's the healer typically for your Venti composition? Because we're definitely using Mona for floor 11, right? And you're going to be somewhat kind of like a Mona main DPS. Honestly, you should double up on, on Hydro here. You don't have a dedicated crowd DPS. I literally see none here. So I would do Mona Xingqiu, right? And then I would do Jean, like a double hide or double, double on Nemo. That's totally fine for floor 11. I can't dodge. Okay, so that means you're doing down a Bennett here. That's fine. Bennett for Venti attack rings if you want to. If you want to do that, then we're going to change up this composition a little bit, right? Because then we're going to do most likely... Then I feel like it's better to do... Do you have C6 Xingqiu? C3. Do you want to do a reaction-based Yoimiya composition or not? Because, like, we have one of two choices, right? Yoimiya Kazuha is probably going to be inseparable in most cases because it's a huge increase to Yoimiya's damage. But here's the thing. If I'm going to add Diona as a shielder, then I'm most likely not going to add Bennett to this composition, and Bennett will go on the second half. And then you're going to have Mona here, which is totally fine, right? So then the question becomes, do you want to double up on the Pyro or have reactions? Right, we have one slot left. You like reactions. Okay, then I would recommend Xingqiu, even though you only have C3. Do you have the resources to reinvest in Beta with your official gear or no? You build Fischl. Okay, we can use Fischl for now. I'm gonna get your input in because without C6 Xingqiu, the viability falls off a little bit more. Without C6 Fischl, you're gonna be losing a, like probably 25% of the damage from Fischl. I don't like Claymore users though. You're not using Beta for the Claymore, right? She's going to be tap Eing for the orbs and pressing Q. So Venti composition, Bennett, and then Mona. So most likely you're going to be having Venti's E and Q, Bennett's for buffing, Mona's the main damage dealer here while Venti's Q is up. And then the last slot here, we already have a healer. You have Kaching as an option, you have Xingqiu as an option, you have Jean, but Jean's weaker, right? Okay, Paco, what I was saying about this first half, right, was that you're gonna run Mono Pyro here for Florida Floor specifically. You're not gonna change anything here, okay? Down is here to shield Yoimiya. Shanley is to provide extra DPS. Kazo is the Veer Destined Shredder, okay? Or actually, Kazo is not gonna be shredding that much. In Floor 11 specifically, you could just do Mono Pyro entirely. But we're gonna stick with Pyro here, right? 
So like, if you don't need Kazuo here, you could also just run Klee. You can just run as much power as possible for floor 11. I'll let you decide whether you want to do Kazuo or Klee here, okay? Second half, you're not going to change this. Double Hydro DPS with Bennett as the buffer. Floor 12, we can do reactions, but floor 11 specifically because you're fighting the cubes, you can have free reactions because they have innate element. So floor 12, we're going to run Vendi for sure in the second half, Mona for sure in the second half, and then first half is going to be a Yoimiya Kazuo groupage type of comp, right? And then, so second half, you have Kaching built because she's more reactions here, but not necessarily necessary, right? Also, do you want me to add Bennett here or do you want reactions? I'm asking you again for the second time because if you want Bennett on with Yoimiya, you won't have reactions because you don't have shielding. Not really, I put her stuff on Fisher. Okay, we'll see then. What do you want? Do you want Bennett or Diona? Because I'm not letting Kazuo go from first half. I'd rather have shielding on Yoimiya. Okay, so that means we're going to have Diana and then probably a reactor, right? You can still run Xiangling if you wish. Or Klee, if you would like. How strong is your Klee? Not bad. Actually pretty decent. Too glad you're too crimson. Huh, your Klee and your Yoimiya are actually fairly strong. Witsit Klee would actually work pretty well here. So you have Venti main DPS in the second half, right? And we're going to have Bennett here because we're not going to have enough room for Bennett in the first half, which means that Yoimiya Diana is the first half with Kazuha as buffing, right? So this is your core. Your mobile player. Okay, so these are your core compositions. For the last little bit here, I think it is personal preference on what you would like. You can add Klee to the first half or you can add a reactor like Fischl to the first half or you can even add Fischl to the second half. Doesn't matter. I think that you should use your Klee because she's built. So I think we should have Klee on one side and Fischl on the other. And I think both work. I think if you had Fischl on this side, it'd be an Overload Yoimiya composition. It'd be totally fine. It's slightly weaker though, because you don't have C6. You don't have C6 Fischl, right? Klee also works on the first half because it's just, it fits the sub DPS rotation between Yoimiya and Klee. And Kazo is here to shred the resistance of the enemies. Totally perfectly fine. Now, Klee also works on the second half too, because she could be the one that deals damage while all your other cooldowns are off. Okay, those are going to be your compositions. I think there's going to be no change. I think that Venti can definitely carry you. The only problem is Magu Kenki on the second half means that I would rather do Klee. Personally speaking, if we're going to try to fight Magu Kenki, you need a dedicated DPS like Klee. But you're a mobile player, so Klee DPS might be kind of danky. But I can trust you, right? I can trust you. You'll be fine. Let's see. With this type of composition, right? Your Mia's Q first into Kazuha Q to be able to shred. And then I want to down an EQ Fischl E, right? Or you can do Fischl E first and then down an E last. So that's gonna always going to be rotation, right? So your Mia into Kazuha into either Fischl or Diona. These two are the last two. I'm just going to go here as normal. I'll do this first. Okay, you get through it pretty decently. This is low tide right now. I wasn't paying attention to the time. Okay, I need both of these up. Wait, is that low tide? Okay, I need to redo. Okay. Yeah, that does count. Not getting that many facial attacks, but it is fine. Okay, this is not bad. I think this is pretty solid. 
I can't see what's happening, but... Okay, so with good play, you would have cleared this in 840. But I'm going to complete it just so I can get to the second phase, okay? So that was an 840 clear, which is good for attempting 3-star, because Venti should be able to carry most of the second half. But yeah, you're, you're on mobile, so it's going to be a little bit closer for comfort, okay? I need high tide. Okay. Your Vendi's kind of slapping. All right, we need high tide. Oh, I can't snapshot this in, but if you could play this better, you'll probably play this better than me. I'm getting electro charged! I didn't get my Q back. Chat, my Q. But where's my Q? Ah. But my Q. No, like you had like 79 energy, man. <laughs> okay, but yeah, does that give you a good, that should give you a good demonstration, right? I think your Vendi does a lot of damage and based off of the rotation that you see from that team composition, right? Yoimiya Q lead into Kazuha, official last Diona QE, right? So typically Yoimiya Kazuha into Diona official. Typically I would do Bennett Venti, but I think I haven't played Venti in literally like seven months. But yeah, the rotation should follow the same and keep track of high tide, right? Keep track of high tide. Seems standard. I think you know how to approach that. Uh, let me see your double Skyward Harp. I see. Okay. So double Skyward Harp. This seems fairly straightforward. Official. Good support build. Kazuha. You don't want to Iron Stink. Okay. Oh, you have sub DPS. Okay, this is fair. I mean, you probably noticed how much damage you were doing. So I think this is perfectly fine. And use Black Sword to get the crit. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you have Enemo DPS. Okay, that's fair. You have the sub DPS causal build. These are all good. All the weapons are good. Solar Pearl Mona. It would be better if you did Favonius Codex for floor 12. For floor 11, I can understand Solar Pearl. But for floor 12, I think you should do Favonius Codex because I think you I think you care more about the recharge and specific instances for your whole team. And then I think Bennett's totally fine and Shaolin Stone and Diona's fine. Diona, you're using Sacrificial. You know how to play this better than I do. I typically use Favonius, right? So that's it. Now let's take a look at character artifact stuff. How are you doing here? Two Vedas and two Gladiator. Oh, this is an off piece? Imagine having an attack percent emblem sans with 1020 as an off piece. Generally nice artifacts though. One roll into defense here. Uh, this, had, this is four line, right? One, 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 two roll. Four line. Uh, a little bit copium, but not bad. Two out of five into crit damage. And then this one, not bad. Yeah, your venti is pretty strong. Venti is very strong. Skyward Heart means your venti is 64 2. Oh, that's why I was seeing 35 crit ease. Holy crap. 60, 64 200 150 recharge. This venti slaps. 2k attack, 64 200 150 recharge. 61 Nemo. Holy moly. Stat distribution is nice. That's a very nice venti. Your Yoimi is also mod check crit rate, but you have Skyward Harp to help you out with your build. You are so lucky you have two Skyward Harps, man. 615. 21. Copium. Not bad. Copium. Okay. So the only pieces here that would be switchable are this piece and this piece. That's about it. This piece is okay. Has a decent attack percent and crit damage here. Uh, good lines here. This is the only one that has only one roll into crit right here. And this is zero rolls. Your Mona. So, Solar Pearl Mona, 7488. Ah, 200 attempt to Gladiator. Okay. You might be in a situation where you are trying to force set over stats. So, that's a good piece. Damn, you have this piece lying around. 
as a potential off piece piece what the hell hold on can anyone use that right now Clee? 27 crit damage depends on this piece if you use this on Klee and then change this to this would it be better or no 70 140 70 69 138 versus 57 167 it's basically an equal trade-off, right? Oh, no, it's much... This is stronger. We gained 30 crit damage, but we lost 10 crit rate. Okay, this is stronger. Okay, so please fine then. Uh, Mona. Attack percent is fine. Okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. Attack percent is fine. Any pieces that anyone else is not using right now? Four lines start. Oh, my. You have a four line start? Can I feed this into it? Because you ain't ever going to use this. Or do you want to keep it? I mean, you can keep it if you want. Can I throw this away? What the hell is this? There's no way you're gonna use this, dude. Go ahead. Okay, I can do this one. Wow. Um. Let's try one more. Oh my God. Are you ever gonna use this piece? Or can I just finish the job with this piece? He said, feed it. All right, a sacrifice must be made. Twitch and YouTube frogs, this could be a insane piece. A sacrifice must be made. We are losing a little bit of EXP here. Let's do it. Please! It was so close. It was so close. 1020, it was almost a 1030 piece. Still pretty insane. Definitely worth. That is, that is an upgrade for her. Cause she gets an additional eight crit damage here. And I think your Xingqiu could probably use the other piece, maybe, yeah. Okay, that is that is that is worth. Um general stats. I'm looking for general. Okay. 14 crit rate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think you're using Yen Fei right now. 14 crit rate is pretty huge. Uh any decent attack percent piece right now? I don't think you're using Kaching right now. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, definitely better. Uh, better than all these potentially. This one could could be possible. Wait, you didn't even mass this out yet. Do you want me to mass this out? I can mass this out. Well, crit damage. I mean, not the. Eh, it's fine. What does Mona look like right now with Solar Pearl on this crit rate? 85, 105. Okay, we need to drop. We need to. Can we do crit damage mask here? Do you have a crit damage mask that I could steal from someone? What's Bennett using right now? Oh. Wait a second. I'm kind of itching to take that from him. Oh, wait. Uh, you don't. Jeans. What? What? In, what? Huh? You're not using Jean right now. Okay, your Mona's now busted. There's your. There's your Mona transformation. We dropped the two heart of depth, but that is so much less valuable than gaining 60 crit damage. Or no, we gained 80 crit damage, right? She had 88 crit damage before. We dropped a little bit of the recharge, but I don't think you need that much recharge since you're going on more DPS oriented, right? And I think that even if you switch to Favonius Codex for support in floor 12, you still look pretty damn good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's crazy. I think that is definitely a really nice Mona swap. Chat, would you agree? Pretty good stats all around. Had to use an attack percent piece, but we still maintain basically everything. So I think this will definitely help you for floor 11. Uh, Xingxiu, I think needs a little bit of improvement here. You're not using Jean right now. Can I take this? You're not using Jean right now. A little bit better offensively. Sacrificed for Noblesse. I think that's better. Uh, I think your recharge is a little capped, right? Your recharge is extremely high. Wait, this is also four line start. Hold on a second. Hmm. Hold on. Can we steroid another piece then? Not bad. Oh, the defense roll though. I mean, it's basically close enough, right? Screw it. Why not? Better? Slightly? I think better slightly. Yeah, improved a little bit. Almost at 5,100. Good attack too. 
Still maintaining two noblesse at the very minimum for his own damage. Okay. I think this is good. This is this is slightly better than before. I think that's gonna be it then. YouTube frocks. I know I didn't get to showcase that much here for the venti showcase but i think we still managed to do a pretty good rework a little bit of a glow up on certain characters here so hope you guys enjoyed uh, more of an extensive review on pocket potatoes account triple crowned venti main dps yoimiya should be able to make it work i think that with better play on the venti part uh we could definitely make it so yeah thank you youtube for us for watching hope you guys enjoy this uh this account review for pocket potato consider liking and subscribing to the channel very much appreciate all the support and we'll see you on the next video Take care.